Mysterio was a really ambitious villain because his powers are the power of illusion. So the idea that he's pulling this long con and producing spectacular monsters allowed us to deliver on the spectacle. We always wanted to do Mysterio just because of the possibilities of what that could be. What I love about the character is that you really never know who he actually is. I have no idea who that dude is. Uh, he just kind of shows up, supposedly from an alternate universe. There are multiple realities. This is Earth, Dimension 616. I'm from Earth 833. I'm sorry, you're saying there's a multiverse? Because I thought that was just theoretical. I mean, that completely changes how we understand the initial singularity. I mean, we're talking about an eternal inflation model, and how does that even work with all the quantum fluctuations? I mean, it's insane. Sorry. It's really cool. Ooh. Yeah, baby! Got it. Mysterio is clearly a risk. If you even just look at him in the illustrations, it's not an easy character to bring to life, and it's quite easy to see why in the movies prior, no one took on the challenge of Mysterio. And I love the fact that John Watts and Marvel and Sony were bold enough to make that choice. No hero is any better than the villain he faces, and they have a really good bad guy. We need maximum damage. <laughs> it's gonna cause a lot of casualties. Oh yeah, more casualties, more coverage. I've talked to Marvel over the years about different characters to play, and as interested as I've been, I've never really felt right about it until this moment. Probably because I do like a villain a little bit more than a hero. <laughs> This supervillain suit is sick. Such a striking design and uh, such a cool look. To be honest, I wasn't so sure how it was gonna come out. You see it in the comics and you're like, okay. When I first saw Mysterio, it does look kind of goofy, a guy in a bodysuit with a goldfish bowl on his head. We think it's a great looking costume, but yeah. then when he puts it on, people do take a deep yeah. breath and go, he does look amazing. Yeah, it's a cool costume for sure. Jake was a real soldier about not complaining about it and stuff, but I could just see how uncomfortable that suit was. I've never worn that much spandex, and I, I hope I never will ever again. When we first started this, Anna was told that we wouldn't really be making this for the actor, we'd be making it for a visual effects reference. It was doubtable that anyone would actually be able to wear it. And as it moved on, the next thing we knew, Jake was going to wear it on set. It's amazing. You put it on, there's a 400 pound wool cape affixed with flashing lights, but it's really cool. <laughs> Somebody get this stupid costume off me! When they asked me to be a part of this one, I was really excited because I think that Tom Holland is the best Spider-Man yet. Tom and I have actually become friends and he's just a lovely guy. <laughs> oh, come on! I can help, let me help! The relationship between Tom and Jake, they became great friends and I think they had a lot of fun playing these characters together. Mr. Beck and I were- My name is Mysterio. They become fast friends. Peter Parker kind of sees an avenue where he can put some of his responsibility onto Mysterio and then he can go and enjoy his class trip with all of his friends. What are you gonna do about the water monster? Nothing. That Mysterio guy's all over it. The best part of this movie is how close these two characters actually are. And I think that that creates a lot of complications for Peter Parker. He actually does care and like Gwen Beck, and I think vice versa. It's really nice to have somebody to talk to about superhero stuff, you know? Anytime.